Cody, quiet. Wigs, Chicago. Look at that. I've never been able to do that. Catch two crisscrossing at the same time. Today is Wednesday and they are spraying like they are not going to be here tomorrow. Look at this. Holy cow. And look at this. They already were out here. Straight up. Horizon to horizon. And look at those way out there. Look at, like railroad tracks. Like a highway. That's running east-west, by the way. That's west. Sun's behind the building. And here is east. I'm gonna pause this. I saw a couple while I was driving. I couldn't pull the camera out. Look at this. Look at this. What are they doing? All right, I'm gonna pause and keep this going. I'll be right back. Wag Chicago. All right. Well, I'm done with the store. Look like they light up on the uh, fresh airplanes. There's another angle from my yard. I'll show you straight west. Sun's through this tree. Right there. I don't know how good this is showing up on this camera. I like the little uh, highway exit over there. And the classic X pattern. And that's so they could see from space where they're spraying, I guess. That'd be my guess. Eyes to the skies, people. Good morning. Today is August 7th. This is WAG Chicago, otherwise known as Scott Wagner. Um, I heard this quote this morning, so I'm going to start out with this. Success is not guaranteed in this life. Failure, however, is. Overcome failure, and you will have success. It's that simple. The hard part is doing it. And uh, when you're focused, or you have that burning gut, feeling and you want something that you've never like nothing can get in your way and nothing will I'll get into more of that some tapes I'm going to make or videos whatever you call them nowadays um, I found out well, let me switch screens here hang on I, I can't switch the, uh, the camera here I'm on a cell phone uh Amongst all the other bad news, I got the uh, my laptop, the main one I use for my podcast, died. So I'm having a bad week there. But it's not bad. It depends how you look at it, I guess. Um, I'm trying to block the screen here. The uh, just want to do a quick update, uh, and then I'll put a video out where you can see my face. Um, a little hard to breathe. Um, I don't have any official updates yet as far as my medical condition, except for what my daughters put out, which I'm grateful that they notified people on Facebook. I don't use Facebook anymore, as you all know. I have not used it in three years. Um, I use it, however, for my podcast to get that marketing done, which I had just launched. 
and I hope to continue launching for a long time. Um, when I do get updates, I'll throw them out there personally. Um, I need them to show me how to do it. I just figured out messaging with one of the guys I used to work with, so um, I didn't even know how to use that. So um, I have a lung problem. It is not caused from smoking, even though I did smoke cigarettes. Um, it did not help. We know that. But neither does breathing chemtrails. So there's more people today, especially women under 30, that are getting lung cancer that have never smoked, never will smoke, never did smoke. So people need to wake up. There's something going on in the air. All you got to do is look up. And we see the tic-tac-toe boards and the... Uh, the symbols they're putting up there and all that, the, the mess around, whatever they're doing, you're breathing those chemicals. I've seen fibers that get blown around. Uh, last November, I held some, I tried to pick some up that were in my grass. They look like spider webs. When I picked it up, they melted in my hand and were gone. So they weren't spider webs. Um, you could do your own research on that for now. I don't have any official news, so I'm not going to comment on it. All I know is what I saw, I had two witnesses that were there, and uh, if you look up the research and the side effects, it's similar to what I have right now. I've got severe lung damage, uh, usually caused by environmental or genetic. I have no genetic history that I know of. I'm going to try and talk to some of my family, but I've never heard of anybody in my family whose lungs just died on them. So, uh, that doesn't make sense to me. Um, anyways, that's, I don't want to go down a bad road. Just trying to catch my breath here. Um, I want to personally thank everybody for the prayers and the, and the thoughts, depending on which way you think. Um, I saw, I've been reading them over the weekend. I have not been able to, I said, contact everybody personally yet, but I will. Um, I truly believe in the energy you put out to the universe does come back and either bite you or help you, or we learn from it either at the very least. And I think that energy can help. And uh, maybe it got me out of the hospital sooner than later. Um, I, uh, I'm still in shock dealing with the information, I guess. Not so much that it happened, but it just seems to me like it happened so fast. You know, two days before this, I'm running around, and all of a sudden I'm laid up. So people, uh, I was thinking about this and talking to a few people. We don't appreciate what we have until it's gone, like obviously from relationships to other things in life maybe a job or which I'm familiar with my past career and obviously been married, divorced, been through all that. You know, and I've met people over the years, you know, one guy I knew that was going blind from the sides in or something really freaky and he was in the water treatment business and nobody around him, including myself, really felt sorry for him or cared or, and uh, that's wrong. But, I think it's a, also a mechanism for humans to protect themselves because just like a career, say you're a police officer in law enforcement or a fireman, any job that's dangerous inherently, even an iron worker, whatever it is, if you thought about the consequences of what you're doing before you go to work, that you could be hurt, you could be in an accident, you could be shot, you could fall off a building, all those things, then nobody would do it. You'd be like, why am I doing that? I don't care what I'm getting paid, you know. Those people, including myself, would do that job probably for free if they could afford to live on it for free. It's in their gut. That's that burning desire I was talking about. And uh, let me see if I can turn this camera on. I'm probably sick of looking. I don't know how it looks, though. I can't see because I'm looking at the back screen. I hope this is showing me, hang on, uh, I can't tell. 
I'm gonna try. I hope this shows me. I, I'm sure you're sick of looking at the screen. Um, there's some dust in the air and stuff. I can't get in my lungs right now, so I'm not contagious or anything. That's I gotta wear this to protect my lungs. I feel real weird in public. Anyways, those people would do it for free if they could afford to do it for free. Um, so, if as a human or whatever you want to call us, entity or in the shell of a body that we have, if we thought about these consequences, we wouldn't do it. So that's what I think it goes down to. You don't think about breathing. So you do it every day, thousands of times a day. So it's gone. You don't even think twice about it. So I got to cover my nose. Um, that's my point. Just so people, you can do whatever you want. But uh, not so much you even care about what other people are going through. But care about yourself because you're not uh, you're not uh, gonna think about it till it's too late whatever ends up happening so it could be from vision so you lose your vision I'd be saying the same thing right now I can't believe I never thought about my eyes right now I can't believe I never thought about breathing and it could be you lose your leg you know ask them whatever it is so at the same time, we can't dwell on it because then you wouldn't live. So that's, I think, so it's not a selfish thing. It's not a bad thing, I don't think. It's a survival. If we didn't do it, we wouldn't survive. So, And now I'm starting to rant, so I'm on a stupid rant, I think. This is the first message I put out. I want to thank everybody. There was a lot of prayers. I see a lot of uh, good energy coming my way. I could feel it. I, I swear you could feel it. Um... I was pretty messed up, and uh, to be honest with you, it's a little scary, and I don't get scared that easy. I do get scared. I'm not a tough guy or whatever, so uh, it doesn't get scared, but um, the, uh, again, I just want to thank everybody. I couldn't believe how many people stepped up I didn't know that many people still thought about me or whatever so I guess I've been kind of a jerk and I apologize for that but um, I'll keep you updated most importantly if you can still do it just keep me in those prayers or however you do your energy and uh, I know miracles can happen and uh, as long as you're fighting you're not uh, losing so, I mean, you could tap out if you'd say you're an MMA fighter or something. Obviously, you could tap out of a fight, but you're still mentally in the fight. You know, you're just tapping out for other reasons. So you don't, but if you're fighting for whatever, you, you, as long as you keep fighting, you're fighting. So, um, I've had my puppy with me. I'm going to put some videos up there. Um, let's see what I could do about making him a service dog. And I'm having... He's helping me stay calm. Um, uh, it's just a lot to process, so I appreciate everything. Um, I'm gonna, I usually don't review my videos before I put them up, so I may just put this up raw. I usually do it live, but like I said, I blew up or something blew up my computer, so um, I got a backup laptop that's uh, I'm gonna try and add the software to and all that, but not as good of a laptop um, if that goes down then I'll have to sell that's all I can do so uh, I'm starting out my week uh, by thanking everybody that way I have a good step forward I got doctor's appointments all week um, for follow up and then I'm working on the insurance issue um it's uh, another set of stress balls I don't need to deal with at this second. But uh, that's going to be a big problem as far as future care. So uh, that's my next stress point. But I'll deal with that road when I cross it. So everybody out there, thank you. 
and uh, I just can't believe how many people uh, came out and contact me, contact one way or the other, so I appreciate that. You guys have a great day, great week. It's going to be a cold one. We're getting a nice cold front. I'll get back into my space weather. I'm feeling a little better here, and uh, I got some videos I got to make for my family too, uh, for their future. So I'll be busy once I get a notch better on the holding the oxygen in. I just took my uh, inhaler, so that's why I'm able to ramble a little bit here. So everybody have a great week, and uh, I hope God, I hope this ain't too ugly with me so close. Um, I can't see the camera. All right, I'm gonna stop rambling. This is Way Chicago. I'm back, a little weak still, actually a lot weak, but I'm here, I'm fighting, and I've been fighting since I was about six years old, so I've been kicked in the balls a few times in my life, and uh, I get up, I kick back, I win some, I lose some, and uh, this time I'm going to fight hard to win. Wag Chicago over and out, have a great day.